need a hoodie or something. Uh, we'll get one then. Go get one. Mommy didn't say anything about me not having. Uh, if you got to put your arms in your shirt, you need you need something a little warmer there, child. The yeah, it sure has. What is it? Yeah. It is. Like, what does it look like? Well, you're going to see. Are you finishing it today? Does it, like, take a while to make? Oh, yeah. It's getting finished today. No, I'm asking, does it make a while to make? Like, does it take a while to make? No. No, it's pretty quick. Pretty you, quick. Do you just, like, put boards together? <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> just put boards together to make a certain shape. <laughs> Well, it's going to look like a big triangle in the air. Oh, that's... The, you were also talking about that. Yep. So... Depend on the four inches. It's actually really simple. Mm -hmm. So this is so we can build or lift a heavy load. So like heavy beans? Yep, because I'm going to stand these up. But I would think that you would like need two of them to get one beam up so it doesn't like fall lopsided. <laughs> well, it's an Different. interesting way the thing these are, the way these are made. You got that? Yep. Can I lay it down? Oh, hold on. You want to get on that end and we're going to set this board down? Oh, what You got that? Should I put it, like, right here? Mm-hmm. That'll work. Okay, you ready? Yep. It's heavy. Yeah. Oh, you're tough. You got it. Good <laughs> job. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's not that heavy, actually. So, we want to double check the length on this. Make sure. My blue tape measure can go to 12 feet. 12 feet. But that is definitely not 12 feet. That one I'm probably thinking could go to like... So we are 176 inches long. Which is... Uh, 14 feet 8 inches. 14 feet 8 inches. So the point of this thing where they both come together will be 14 feet off the ground. That goes 55 feet. This goes 35 feet. Oh, uh, I thought I saw 50. I thought it was five and one hundred six. Oh wait, no, you're marking it there. So like. No, we're doing right now. We're just sitting square right now. That one's sixteen feet, right? Yeah, this will be. We're gonna make this exactly the same as the other one. So fourteen feet eight inches. The marker, waist out. That'll be waist. You <laughs> going? No. Yeah. No, it did kind of funny. You could have used a straight edge. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we could have. But, um, Daddy, I have one question. Do you, like, chisel this out and then put the, that board into it? 
Yep. Yeah. That's exactly but, what we're gonna do. But you probably had to like measure this like like the thickness. Yep. Yeah. To make sure. <laughs> make sure it's gonna fit. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. How much is that? Two inches thick. Two inches? Oh. I'll go get my tape measure. Go ahead. Too much bounce. Okay, so we cut some notches here so I can get these to fit. So basically we are building a big triangle here that's going to stand upright. You can hook a set of chain falls or come along or something of that nature to the top or block and tackle if that's what you're using. And I'm going to be using chain falls because that's what I have. But So this thing's going to be 14 feet tall where the chain falls attach and it's going to be 7 foot wide on the bottom. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time building this. I only have a couple hours into it. Basically, the queen post bench that we're going to be standing using this aren't terribly heavy. I mean, they're not light, but they're nothing like the uh, first floor bench. 8 by 8 posts. They're a little bit shorter. No, they're not too bad. And you got to remember, too, when you have half of it resting on the ground, like the bottoms of the queen post will be resting on the floor, most of your weight you're lifting is going to be up to the halfway mark. After that, the floor is going to take on most of the weight. Now, what I have to watch for is how can I do it safely? Um, because using the chain falls... It's going to be a little bit underneath of things more than I want to be. It's going to be something where I'm really going to have to pay attention to all the what's going on. So that's something that I'm really going to have to watch. It was a nice day for doing this today. This week has just been phenomenal weather-wise. It's been a lot of wind, but it's been nice and warm. You can't ask for much more than that this time of year. Usually we still have snow on the ground. I think we can just do a video here of the guy running a drill. Wouldn't that be fun? Try to get some thumbs down from the thumbs down bandits. So for the spreader bars on the bottom, I'm using uh, two bys, rough cut. Um, they're a little beefy on the bottom, but for the cross braces, I'm just using one by ten. And you'll see how I alternate those by the end of the video here. Now, and I'm making these braces 
the one by tens they'll have they'll have plenty of strength i'm not looking for basically just looking to brace this thing to keep it from spreading or folding in on us and uh trying to pick stuff that's relatively not free i don't want any weak spots in this and the lumber i'm using is white pine my main support the uprights are two by eight white pine but it's all sapwood and there's virtually no knots in it you may get a couple one inches here and there but that's about it at probably kind of hoping by the weekend I'm going to be starting to stand some of these queen post beds up on top that ultimately is my goal this nice weather here is actually uh, putting me quite ahead of schedule for the spring and this is exactly what I needed just a good block of time to be able to work on this thing I am loving this camera. I'm going to get some. Look at them coffee jitters. Holy cow, maybe I need to lay off of that stuff. Oh, I'm going to get the old chainsaw. I know I should be wearing chaps. I know somebody's going to notice that. I use a chainsaw a lot for stuff like this. It, uh, I'm just quick and it's easy. I don't have to drag cords up. I don't need a lot of finesse in this thing. I just need it to work in the function. And I love my Dolmar saws. I see their, uh, I see Makita's finally gonna boot the Dolmar name and go strictly with Makita. I guess they're gonna keep the same color schemes, but it won't be branded Dolmar anymore. That's a shame. That's the oldest chainsaw brand in the world. I beat steel to the market by a few months. Well, we're just about done with the braces here. Sun decided to stick its head out for a few minutes, which was kind of nice. No, my roof is not missing shingles. Those are... Uh, darker shingles from all the ones that have blown off I've replaced. I can't wait to put a metal roof on that house. Doing shingles in a wind tunnel was just kind of goofy. Now this thing isn't terribly heavy. I mean it's it's stout. It shouldn't go anywhere. But uh, it's not so heavy that one guy can't stand it up on its own. I've seen some sets of shear legs that are just massive and they do a job. They're good at it. I could I could have used a gin pole but I really like the stability of the shear legs better. It's nice with the shear legs is you can go to the bottom you can attach block and tackle to the bottom and you can attach it at top and then if you have a couple sets of people pulling on it you can lift a lot of weight with these things. Now I do have help if I need it for the queen post beds, but I'm going to try to put a couple up on my own just to see how it goes. If it looks like it's not going to be safe, I'll call it off and uh, bring the help in. If this thing's strong enough, we may set the remaining top plates with this. And that is a killer on the body, lugging those and putting them in place. And you're talking almost 16 foot long, 10 by 10s that are green. It's a lot of weight. Well, it's hard to explain this today because we did have a healthy amount of wind. Well, that's why we're doing the voiceover. Typically don't care to do the voiceovers because I'll sit here kind of quiet and say, okay, what do I say now? It's kind of, you can get those awkward pauses and stuff like that. Of course, I'll set her down and notice that I, one I didn't trim. Well, 
that saw is a Dolmar 6400. I've had that thing for almost 10 years. Knock on wood, that thing has been bulletproof for me. There we go. There wasn't even any grunting left in that. Now you see how those braces are alternated. That is on purpose. So basically we are supported on this thing from racking every few feet. That's kind of what we want. You know, it's kind of a goofy looking contraption but uh, they're really going to do a job now. You'll see how we set it up here, like I said, hopefully by the weekend. And we're going to have a tagline on a come along that goes from the top of it to an anchor point behind it. That's why I left a couple boards off of the floor on the one end. That way I have a good anchor point to attach that to. We're going to want to tip it towards the load a little bit because the biggest danger with that is going to be having that thing flop over backwards. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you on the next one.